Hey guys, welcome back to Magic TV. My name's Craig, it's six o'clock, it's time for a Magic Live. Now today I'm gonna to be doing Blizzard by Dean Dill, the late, great Dean Dill. Uh, and you can get this from Penguin Magic, they've just re-released it. I'm here with Michael. How are you doing, Hi, Michael? I'm good. We can do a trick with a pack of cards. Are you excited? Yeah. It's a card trick. Some people consider this to be the greatest card trick of all time. I look forward to I'll it, let then. you decide yourself whether it is the greatest card trick of all time or not. Okay. 52 cards in a pack of cards. You're gonna name any one of the 52 cards. Um, totally your choice. King of Hearts. King of Hearts. So I'm going to take out the King of Hearts and the other three kings as well. Okay? So we have the, let me grab it out here, King of Hearts. And I picked the most awkward one. You are <laughs> a pain in the butt. Right, there we go. We've taken out the four kings. Now, what I would like you to do, my friend, is without looking at the faces, mix them up. Okay. So they're in a random order. Okay. Oh, notice how he's doing it under the table. <laughs> Don't trust him. Never, never trust a magician no. with way too cheap for a living. And then when you finish mixing them up, lay them out in a row on the table. Okay. And you done that? And one more thing I want you to do. I'll turn away and I want you to just mix the order up again, just in case you think I've done something okay. which I haven't. Are we done? Yeah. Cool. That will do. So I know that one of these is your King of Hearts, but I don't know which one. Yeah. Stick out a, uh, a, 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 with your left hand, stick out a finger of your choice. Thanks for being nice. <laughs> it was tempting. <laughs> Do the same thing with the right finger. Do the same thing. Now, push two cards towards me. Any two. Are you sure? Yeah. Perfect. So that leaves us with two cards. You're going to make one more decision. You're going to pick one of them up and put them face, put it face down in my hand when I snap my fingers. You sure? Yeah. Positive? Yeah. Okay, cool. So you made all the decisions. Think about this. You mix the cards up. You picked any card. You picked a king of hearts. No one made you pick a king of hearts. You then mixed the cards up under the table. Then I looked away and you mixed them up again while they're on the table. Then you made all the decisions as to which card we'd end up with. And it's this one right here. If you found out the king of hearts yourself would that be good yeah yeah i think that's pretty cool right we're gonna be honest with you, you had no choice <laughs> the only choice you had was the king of hearts do you know why you didn't have a choice of any of the other three kings you didn't have a choice of this card you didn't have a choice of this card or this card or this card you didn't have a choice of this card this card this card uh this card or this card or even this card because you see if you'd have what? named <laughs> any other card in the pack like literally any other card you would have ended up with nothing but a blank card because all we have here is a blizzard of white and the only card in this deck that is printed other than the six of diamonds which is weird and has got <laughs> nothing to do with the trick you can blame matt for that i did a matt test before i did it on you and he named the six, six of diamonds, diamonds. <laughs> so matt is still thinking of his card and that's why this <laughs> And that's why the Six of Diamonds has magically appeared here. But the only card, other than the Six of Diamonds, is the card that you named the King of Hearts, which is still incredibly impressive. I mean, yeah, that still it could have been only two out of two. Yeah, so two out of two. That's still quite good. But, um, you know, I'm going to put the Six uh, about halfway. Is that about halfway down? About yeah. halfway? By the way, anybody watching this, this is called winging it. Uh, can you do me a favour and snap your fingers just like that and make the most magical noise that you can? Wonderful. And then hopefully that will stop Matt thinking of that card and now even that card will go and you'll be left with just a pack of blank cards <laughs> and nothing else. You can examine everything. That was pretty good to be fair. Thank you. The second bit was unbland. <laughs> Do me a favour, guys. Let me know. It's Blizzard. It's by uh, Dean Dill. Uh, it's an amazing trick. Uh, do me a favour. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. You want to see more videos like this? Like the video. Subscribe to the channel. I'll be back again tomorrow at 6 o'clock with another Magic Live. I'll see you then.